let me show you how to connect your Unreal Engine 5 project to Steam in under 2 minutes. You're going to start off by going into your plugins section, typing in online or Steam and enabling online subsystem Steam and restart now. Let the project refresh, it will take about 30 seconds and we'll be ready for the next step. So next thing you're going to do is go to your project directory, you're going to go into the config folder and you're going to go into the default engine.ini file. You're going to open that up, you're going to scroll right down to the bottom and you're going to paste in the config that I have in the description of this video. Click save and you'll be ready for the next step. Coming out of the default engine.ini file now, we're going to go back to the base directory and create a folder called plugins. And this is where we're going to paste in the advanced Steam sessions. The link can be found in the description. Just download the zip and copy the two folders that I am copying over here. So you can see I've downloaded the zip as well. Just copy these two folders over. So you've got advanced Steam, you've got advanced sessions and advanced Steam sessions. Copy them over and reload into your project. These plugins are usually enabled by default but just in case, head over to your plugin section and ensure that advanced sessions and advanced Steam sessions are both enabled. Now we're going to go into our character blueprint and set up a quick player name tag so we can ensure everything works. All I've done is add a text render actor underneath the mesh. And all I'm doing is setting that text to a function called get Steam Persona name, which basically just gets our Steam's profile name. So casting that to a text and setting that, linking it all up. But we do need a unique net ID. So for this, we can just get our player controller. And from the player controller, we can get the unique net ID just as shown here, link that all up and then we're ready to click play. The graph doesn't look very pretty but it works and that's all that matters. So compile save, load into the game, make sure you run the game as a standalone game otherwise you'll end up looking like this. So click the three dots, standalone game, let that load, usually takes a second or two, load in and what you should see is that our player name above our head, there we go, Dan B, works just fine. And you've got shift tab working as well with the steam overlay. So you can do whatever you want with this. It's ready to go. You've just connected your project to steam in under two minutes. Thanks for watching.